I think there are really three steps to what Chainlink is, is going to achieve. The, the first thing is that it enabled DeFi to grow from a sub $100 million industry to an over $200 billion industry in a small number of years, powering the majority of that industry over the, its entire existence. And Chainlink was able to enable that industry to grow so much because without the Oracle networks and the data connectivity that Chainlink provides, that industry wouldn't have become what it is today. Now we're looking at the TradFi industry and how do we get the TradFi industry to properly enter the blockchain world and how do we get them to do transactions by solving both their data problems and their other problems, cross-chain connectivity problems, compliance problems, and a few others. So now Chainlink is gonna set standards and become widely used in the TradFi industry. If it's widely used in the DeFi industry and widely used in the TradFi industry, and we all agree that the DeFi and TradFi industry are basically gonna transact with each other, and they're all using the Chainlink stand, set of standards and services to do those transactions, then that's the third and final stage, where you create this global internet of contracts that includes all the world's institutions, startups, DeFi, real-world asset issuance teams, and all of them are successfully operating on top of a single set of standards for data, connectivity, identity, interaction with AI, interaction with traditional systems. That third is stage is the final stage. I would say we're, we're very far along on the DeFi side. We're in the early middle of the TradFi side, and we're in the early part of the DeFi-TradFi convergence. And Chainlink has a very big role to play in all three of those.